all together. Bun. Baj, Bajan Rangi, Mother Teresa, <laughs> Bajab, Baj, Bajrangi, Bajrangi, Bajay. <laughs> Bajan. <laughs> I guess we I'm never. I guess I'm never going to be like making love with him because Mr. I Salman be able to say Khan. His name right. Can you just? No, he'll accept the way I say it. He'll he loves me. Anyways, an easier character name for Kristen because she's struggle busting. You guys, let's get started. I'm so tired that I'm up now. Put police care while they're there. Then Pakistani police, kisi na kisi tarah se. Zindagi bhar jail mein sarte rahoge aur kisi ko pata bhi nahi chalega ki gaye kahan. Aur jitni jaddu jaye tum kar rahe ho, uska ghar dhoonne mein tumhe lagta police bhi utni mehnat karegi. दो तीन दिन कोशिश करेंगे और हमारी मुंडी भेज दी जाएगी किसी यतीम खाने में एक सरिया है तुम्हारी मदद करने का कहानी में दम नहीं है वो जो तुम्हारी जासूस वाली कहानी थी ना उसका क्या हुआ आ, लेकिन सर वो तो जासूस है ही नहीं तो, तो बात ही खत्म हो गई चलिए उसके माँ बाप मिल जाएंगे और क्या जो बिस्टो को मिलवा दे लेकिन सर चलो That was the shrine that her mom took her to, right? Yeah, the Hazrat Amin Shah's temple. What is it? It's a very famous temple. The sunama is filled with the prayers of all the people. Now we are ready for the temple. It's ringing. Oh no. Thank you, brother. Where are you from? Where is there someone around you? No, there is no one around me. Where is that guy with the Jasus? No, that guy is not Jasus. He is a big guy. But where are you from now? हजरत अमीन शाह की दरगाह पे जा रहे हैं अच्छा अच्छा भाई जान अपना ख्याल रखिए अल्लाह हाफिज Gosh, this is beautiful. I'd love to live there. It's so stunning. Mm. I love that he's learning so much about their culture. Yeah. Like in their, like or not not their culture, but per se, but their religion. The culture too. Which which I guess you yeah. know religion in a weird in, in a sense is. Oh, absolutely. Like it's a, it has culture to yeah. it. Is that her mom? That's her mom! But he covered her face. Yeah! YouTube, YouTube. it. Yeah, there we go. YouTube! Oh, shit. Oh, no. And do what? No. Nice. you Nice. you No, I didn't. You did. I have told you that you have to do it. You have to do it. You have to do it. You have no way. Push. Oh, she got off the bus. Get on, get on the bus. Ah. Sir, this video, look. This video, Chan Nawab has put on the internet. Sir, that is the Gojra Aai. Send all the people from the city to this video. And every car, bus, truck, all of them, stop, check. Too late. Too late. Too late. She comes from a beautiful village. Yeah. Oh, no. Come on, come on. Come on, come on. Come on.
Distract them. Oh, he's going to have the other one take her. Yeah. Oh. Oh. You're so <laughs> close. Oh, I hear the tears come. There's no need to like hit him anymore, man. Go. No. No. Are you f like what? They did not. Please, please, please. Bajrangi, you and Mary Tara, a calm in Sane, this Pakistan, because Sane got sick for sick, a key maxa ta, Mohopat, Mohopat, a chess, I'll keep his one. So, you know that Bajrangi Bajan's mother was not going to be able to get her home, and you know that Salamat is not going to be able to get her home. If they did the what I think they did, I'll be so upset. Hopefully he's just injured. Okay, so he didn't. Yeah. Is he alive? Okay. He's literally done nothing wrong. Come on. Oh, come on. What's going on? When you go to Kurukshet Police Station and Delhi, we have a high commission. Both of them have verified this story. This person can't be able to do it. Mr. Hamid Khan. If you can't do this job, then tell us about it. We have another very good job. The corruption. If you can't do this job, you can't do it for all of your life. You can't do it for all of your life. You can't do it for all of your life. Yes! Oh, finally. To watch them beat him up is like tearing me apart. Yeah. Hamid sir. Yes sir. Yes, shukriya. Yes, better sir. Chaturvedi. Yeah, just say, hum sab bajrangi bhajan ke naam se jante hain. Ek aisa hindustani. Jisne bhajan ko khatre mein dal kar ek bachi ko apne maa baap se yaan. Isliye kya hai bajrangi ne ek pakistani shahida ko hindustani nahi. बल्कि इंसानी नजरों से एक मोहब्बत भरे दिल से देखा। You helped him, you gave him the permission, man। कल सुबह एक साथ नरोवल चेकपोस्ट की तरफ पड़े। ये क्या बकवास है? नरोवल बॉर्डर को सील कर दो। मेरे बजन की भाजान को कोई बॉर्डर पार करने से न रोक पाए, कोई घर जाने से न रोक पाए। कैमरामैन कामिल यूसुफ के साथ चार नवाब। बजरंग बली से जो हमने वादा किया था वो हमने पूरा कर दिया। मुन्नी अब शायद शायद अब अपने माँबाप के साथ में हैं। No. Gate खोली। He kept his promise. क्या कर रहा है हमारे पास? अगर अपनी जान को खतरे में डालकर ये आदमी आपकी खोई हुई बेटी। No, the other guy is gonna come. Yes, he is. He has to say, I kept my promise. हमारे orders हैं सर। इस आदमी को बॉर्डर पार करने से रोका जाए, लेकिन हम तो कुछ ऐसे पाए और लोग हजारों की तादाद में। Although oh he's gonna make it stop maybe is this on the sly? I love that they're respecting and not crossing. Say something. Say something. <laughs> I 
<laughs> Father's proud now. Oh, he did it. <laughs> He's like, hey. Here, <laughs> Mr. Khan. <laughs> oh my gosh. <sighs> that was okay. I got it. Yeah, it was like, whatever. <laughs> what? Wow. We got destroyed there, friends, Most family. Definitely. Oh my gosh. Like we knew it was going to be a roller coaster and we were going to feel all the things, but this really took us there. <laughs> it really took us there. Whew, love conquers all, right? You know, yeah. with how much hate is in the world and how we may see other people and certain lights, we have to remember it's not everyone. You know what I mean? And there yeah. are good people out there that are not trying to be evil or malicious and it's just sad that we've been so jaded into becoming the society of not trusting you know and i think like this film touched a lot of grounds mm -hmm. for different religions different races mm -hmm. different cultures different, you know like the, the boundaries i feel like war between people and like touch based on just humanity in general with love and it's like, it's crazy because you sit there and you see this man who's so sweet. It's the kindest so man. Nice. He goes through this journey and you know, like she's not, they don't eat meat. And for them, that's like super taboo. And then like you open your heart to this stranger to try to help them. And then you find out they're everything you're not and you're every, they're everything you're against. And it's just kind of, it's kind of cool to see anyone from opposite sides get along the way they do mm -hmm. and i think it was it was a beautiful story it was filmed absolutely Oof. like amazing like the scenery shots were incredible the up close and like choreography like uh, the entire thing was just so damn good and so powerful and strong i hate that he was such a trusting man that he originally trusted the man who worked at the mm. the you know to create the passports and stuff like that to take her you know he was sitting there trusting this person to, to take her home. I'm glad he went back because he found out like, whoa, this world's harsh because I don't think he's, I think he's like, he's a little bit similar to me in his mentality, right? Because he's, he's still very naive, but he has that innocence. He's an adult with innocence and that's what I love. And the older you get, and I think through his journey, he stayed true to who he was, but he also sat there and he started to kind of wise up and he was like, whoa, this is the world. You know, he hasn't traveled anywhere but his home and then to where his dad, <laughs> where his dad's last wishes were. <laughs> Which, you know what, I'm glad he, I'm glad he went yeah. that route anyways. Yeah. I don't think that's exactly what his father truly <laughs> wanted. It was just everything you for know, a reason. <laughs> everything's for a reason. You know, he found the love of his life that is just as precious and pure as he is mm -hmm. which is amazing i love that her father took him under his wing and you know deep down he loves him which is why he's so harsh but you also have a father who you know he was in the war mm -hmm. so the opposite side you know he's like no you know what they'll do to you like i've seen it and it's like we all have seen 
some type of person, race, other culture, whatever, you know, give hate mm -hmm. in some shape or form. And a lot of the times it's sad because you see it so many times that you start categorizing people into some type of villain or you sometimes, you know, we, we label them. And we're like, oh, those people. Then we also meet a lot of the really good, kind, loving, most like authentic, amazing people you've ever met. But sometimes, like he said, um, the reporter, you know, he touched based on this is hate and ugly and evil is easier to sell mm -hmm. than love mm -hmm. and good. And we see it every day in the media. All they ever want to do is cover the nasty, right? Because people like to gossip and it is easier to hate than it is to love. And when you sell good uplifting stories, they're not always watched or viewed because I don't know. I mean, it's even like, even when we get into heartbreak, it's easier to get caught up in our bitterness and it's easy to get caught up in our anger that anything that good comes to us, we completely neglect and ignore and forget about it. It's like, oh no, everything's horrible. Everything's horrible, you know, because sometimes we have a hard time controlling those emotions. And if we actually took the time to do that and do self healing, healing mm -hmm. and whatnot and looked at the bigger picture, I think we'd be better off and in general. Mm -hmm. I think it was really cool that they were able to reach out to so many people through the internet and everything like that. And that's one thing, it's like eh, social media is a hit or miss. You either touch the heart of people and they'll stand by you or you don't, but there are a lot of good. Like, and I do believe there's more good than evil in this world. And I do preach that <laughs> daily. It's just, you have to choose and look for it. And only you can be the, your own good. You know what I mean? And it's like, I believe that if you help one person or you touch the heart of one person, I would be okay with that. Mm -hmm. Because if I can touch one person, then maybe that person can share oh, yeah. and that will go down. And the next thing you know, it's thousands and millions. Yeah, and it, it has like a domino's effect. You know, if you're good to somebody, show somebody kindness, they're going to take that and, and give that as well. Bunjabi. <laughs> Bunjabi, I know I can't say it, you guys. You know what? Bajrangi. Bunjongi. Baj. It's okay. Rangi. <laughs> Bunjongi. Rangi. Bunjongi. I don't say it. I'll You're say adding it my way. In. I, I'm uh, joggy. Uh, I, I, I say it my way. It's all good. <laughs> he, you all know what I'm saying. You know, like, I think he was an absolutely phenomenal character in a world that's so cool. I think he was that light. He was the exception. He was the change. And it was absolutely beautiful. Back to this film. I think it was amazingly executed. I love the unity, unity. not the people came together to protect this man. And I love throughout the throughout the film, you know, everybody's breaking breaking their walls down and like their stubbornness because they see this pureness and this innocent and it's not the norm. And that's a beautiful thing. It's very beautiful and I love that they both learn from each other and their different cultures and different sides and different family aspects and I think it was growing to see, you know, Punjabi's growth as a character was just amazing, including the girl. <clears throat> and man, oof, I loved every second of it. And I loved his wife to be because we don't always get that support and we don't always get that humbling. So when you can find somebody who can ground you and mm -hmm. humble you mm -hmm. and remind you who you are and what we, what you and you, you both as a unit, as one stand for, and why you love somebody for what they are, you know mm -hmm. what I mean? Remind them of those values and that core. That's a really strong, powerful thing to have. And when you have that, you don't let that go. You mm -hmm. hold on to it and you run. Any risk is worth it, you know? Especially when you know they're doing it for the, the better good. Yeah. I think Salman and team did just, it was masterfully executed. It was very, it was. Um, I it think. Was Stunning. Yeah, every every part of it, like they knew which emotions to hit. But for me, I think they really latched on to the message of hope and that people are inherently good. Yes. And what better thing to hope for always? What a better thing to be reminded of? And he really, they really like Dug that. drove that in. Yep. Like they, they, they ran they home with that. Yeah, and I, I love that Salman made his character like 
you know what? I'm, I'm going to be earnest to a fault. I'm going to be honest mm-hmm. to a fault. And yeah, it might seem dumb and I might get in trouble sometimes. But look, when people are faced with that, like you can't ignore that feeling of, wait, this is a right and good thing. This yeah. is how we really should be. This this is not the norm. And oh, how reflective that is of our day to day. Like even the girl, little girl was like, like yeah, you know? she's like, don't do it. Stop. <laughs> like, don't do it. But, um, but she learned but very she valuable learned so lessons much. too. Mm-hmm. Exactly. Which she's is going- why I, Yep. The hope is in the future generations, that girl, right? That girl is going to go, go on to a amazing places, thing. especially with that backstory yeah. of being a part of her yeah. upbringing. And I love that the, you brought up um, Karina Kapoor's uh, character too mm-hmm. and how she was like one of my favorite lines from her was li- that oh I, c- I can't teach my dad but I can teach you yes. you know like we can do better you mm-hmm. know like it might be too late for, for him but we can do better so you, you go do what's right so yeah. I love the confidence in these characters she, she threw it all on the line too she knew that exactly. this was a huge risk huge and at the risk. end when she said only nothing like fate can never rip us apart, you know. Right. Like our fate is like, what it is. We will be. No, but we will be together. no matter and what. She's right. And that's also a beautiful thing. Mm-hmm. And you know? I, I love in all Salman Khan's movie, his character. No matter what kind of movie it is, love, mm-hmm. action, romance, his character always goes through some huge change and some huge shift, and he Got an is arc. so masterful at being able to convey that Mm -hmm. because like you said he was uh pavan was kind of like ignorant and a little naive and set in his life and he was about to you know he had it all planned out but to be able to really see the shift in every single um interaction he had with the muslims and and you know even entering the mosques you know well Um, well, it's interesting how he grew up as a child to be the man he is because this whole time time his father's calling him a zero and Mm -hmm. you know thinking he's a failure Mm -hmm. but in actuality like his dad I think because he raised him so well with a solid foundation with his religion and like Mm -hmm. there's some morality morality, thank Mm -hmm. you that's the word I'm looking at morality and wanted him to just succeed so badly even though he was failing, you know, like that's what stuck with him the most. And yeah, that's really what made up. him. And because he failed so mm-hmm. many times, okay? Doesn't every day, he came, like he, every time, he came back get so smacked. much and he would get smacked and he got, he got beat, he got beat, he got beat. And failure was not an option for him or his father. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? And so it was kind of funny when he's like, <laughs> Oh my God, I didn't think you could beat your record of failing. And then all of a sudden, he's like, yeah, I I didn't think he was going to be so surprised that he passed. You know, like, I'm like, oh my God. There were so many funny moments. He was not afraid to be silly or goofy Mm -hmm. or like lay it on thick with the comedy. I love it. I respect that so much. It was was good. uh, I I believed it though. I believed all of it. I believed the pureness. I believed the spirit, the spunk. Mm -hmm. And... I think, you know, failure is what everybody's afraid of ultimately, right? And this is something that I think that um, Indian films and stuff like that, they touch base on this in Bollywood and all that stuff. Like they really touch base on this a lot because in their culture, it's very stuck. Even in the Asian culture culture in general, right? So I think that's amazing to show, show this and show that many failures mm-hmm. to show a man who is loved and respected and is and it's now looked up to and praised he's a hero you know he's like it's never hero. the end yeah because we learn we do get back up and we learn it's crazy how like even like it like you know goes i'm going to touch base on some politics uh, a lot of people we don't realize how powerful and how strong we are mm. united mm-hmm. and a lot of the times governments You know, they try to divide so they can conquer. It's kind of cool they show this at the end too, to be like, there's less of us, more of you. And and a lot of times we forget that. So there's a lot of things that we can change. It's just, we have to be united as one versus divided. And we will be, you know, we're constantly given things to divide us more than anything. And the simple man united both places together and different religions together. Like they became one, you know, and they both had mutual respect and love for one another in that moment. Mm -hmm. Whether that was just in that moment or not, like that was powerful. That was very powerful. 
and like I think like as a society you know we need we also need to refresh our memories and like know that but also know that no matter where you come from there's as much as evil as there is there's always more good than there is evil uh for those of you who have seen my stuff working in germany and you know my one of my best friends diana like she's russian american and it's funny because her dad was in the military and so is my grandfather and you know they're they're brought up not to like the other the, the other the other person so there's this joke about us where they're like they always go oh chris and diana like you shouldn't be friends you're complete opposites you know and her dad told me he was like You know, he calls me um, his can-can, his mm. American can-can. <laughs> he goes, hello, my American can-can. And I'm oh. like, and he goes, and he's like, no, she's my daughter. You know, my family's like, no, she's my daughter. And and it's funny because of us, we're united. And, you know, we're one. That's <laughs> we're, how it is. And we just became this big, happy family. And it's great. And it's, it's really always great. like that with areas of conflict, too, or when there's um, opposition, you always find that the people are always usually like, no, we, we can get along. We love each other. It's usually the governments that yeah. cause the But, And here's the, the thing. Risk. Hate is not something that we naturally have. It is taught. Hate is taught. And drilled into. Yeah, not it's just taught. Yeah, yeah it's taught. Like and it's something that is drilled into a lot of children at a young age and we shouldn't honestly like we shouldn't be putting that burden on the children we should be teaching them more love, love. kindness and like respect this. for other people anyways more stories like this um <laughs> anyways um i love i ha absolutely loved and enjoyed this Save. film more than you can imagine please let us know your comments in the comment zone and uh yeah more stories like this yes, yes. more stories like this please watch us get wrecked <laughs> anyways you guys hit that subscribe button all bell bell icons all notifications and um upload this video for us please i think it de absolutely deserves it it's such a good time love you so much i'm kristen sebzapino i'm vivian day bye see ya